Do you have signal connectivity issue or no service icon on your Pixel 6 device? Well, I've been facing that issue since I've started owning the Pixel 6. And I think Google has a fix in their latest Android 12 QPR3 Beta 3 update. So let's discuss about that. I have updated to the latest Android Beta, which has the fix supposedly. In this video, I'm going to share my experience whether it has fixed the signal connectivity issues or not. So watch this video till the end to know more. And hey guys, I'm Arnav, your host. You are watching Tech Arena. Let's go. Since the launch of the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro device, there has been a lot of bugs and issues that Google has been trying to fix from the monthly update and the quarterly feature drop update. But there have been more and more bugs arising every month after the update that they are rolling out. Where it started? This connectivity issue started from when the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro devices launched and slowly after the March update, many people got this issue rectified, but many still had this problem even after the April update. Even I had this issue even after the April update. I was waiting eagerly for the May update whether it will have a fix for this or not and May came, I updated to the latest May update, it didn't have any fix. I was about to exchange this device and give it to someone else or try to buy a new device. It was only at that time I saw a news where Google said that it has a fix for the connectivity issue that is being caused in the Pixel 6 device in the latest Android 12 QPR 3 Beta 3 update. Now, before talking about the update and what happened after I updated, let's talk about why the Pixel 6 devices are facing this issue. Now, I read in many articles saying that the Pixel 6 device uses cheap components and that's why these issues are being occurred, especially the modem because Pixel 6 uses Samsung's modem, which is called as the Samsung Shannon A5123. And it seems that even Samsung doesn't use that modem. Now, clearly there is a cost cutting because Qualcomm's modem are a bit expensive than what Samsung offers. And if you see in Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, the processor which is manufactured by TSMC is very much efficient and doesn't have any thermal throttling issues. Whereas the same 8 Gen 1 manufactured by Samsung is having a lot of heat issues and thermal throttling issues, even for the Tensor, which is co-developed by Samsung. Samsung. Now the problem here is clearly Samsung, I guess, I don't know. But for some people, after the software updates, this signal connectivity issue have been fixed. Now I've uploaded a video on owning a Pixel 6 here in India. What are the problems that we will face if we buy Pixel 6 here in India? It's in the cards above, you can check it out. And from seeing that video, one of the subscribers contacted me and he approached me, wanted to buy a Pixel 6. And he went to the same shop as I went to buy the Pixel 6 and he bought the device. Now when I called him and asked him whether he is facing this issue of signal connectivity or not, he simply answered me no. None of his family or friends complained about him having that problem while trying to reach him or he haven't seen that problem being faced in his smartphone. Which clearly means that this might be a device to device issue. And there was another viewer who actually messaged me uh, through the comments and I contacted him through WhatsApp and he bought his device through Amazon and I checked his IMEI number, my IMEI number and the other guy's IMEI number who bought the phone from the same shop as me. And all our three devices were bought from Japan. And I've also contacted some of the other people who have been facing this issue and I can see what's common in that is the phone's purchase place. Some of the devices which have been purchased from Japan is kind of facing this problem. I am very confused whether it's the problem of the place where it's manufactured or where it's sold official or where it's bought from or is it a device to device issue. Only some devices are facing this issue and others are not facing. I don't know what's the problem clearly but it can also be the usage of cheap components so yeah. You might ask me what happened after the update. Now I've been using this device running the Android 12 QPR3 Beta 3 and these are my thoughts. Well, there are a lot of bugs still and I would not recommend you guys to update to the latest beta build of Android 12. So wait till the June feature drop. According to Google where they have addressed that they have fixed some issues related to the signal connectivity. The first day when I took the smartphone outside when I was traveling, I didn't face any issue. But the second day, it disconnected more than three times from the network and it showed no service. You can see the screenshot, right? It says no service. So it clearly means that the issue is not still fixed and I kindly urge Google to fix this issue as soon as possible or I might have to change my device from Pixel 6 to any other. Also, there's another problem faced by the owners of Pixel 6 and 6 Pro from countries where it's not officially sold the lack of support of Volt -E and 5G. Now, yes, it was only recently I knew that Pixel has restricted the support for Volt -E and 5G where the device is not officially sold. 
So I would like to kindly, kindly request Google to enable Volti and 5G support for the devices that's not being used in the country which is officially sold. Now I don't know whether people from Google sees this video or not but I want you guys, the people who view this video to tweet this video's link to Google so that it comes to attention. Many of us who bought this phone are facing this issue and by enabling Volti and 5G at least we could get a ray of hope of having good connectivity. Apart from having that signal connectivity issues, everything in this device is really great. Yeah, that's it for today's video. What do you guys think about the Pixel 6 having the signal connectivity issues? Do you have a Pixel 6 device and are you facing this issue? Comment on your opinion down in the comment section below. And as always, if you end up liking or watching my video, a like to this video would be absolutely great. And share this video with all of your friends. And remember, please try to tweet this video to Google so that it comes into their attention. And subscribe. Click the red color subscribe button below because most of you see my video doesn't subscribe. So it's very easy. Click the red color subscribe button. Click the bell icon and press on all so, so you get all the notifications whenever I post any new video. So this is me, Anav, signing off from the video. Until the next one, stay home, stay safe, take care and bye-bye.